What's good? It's your boy Pompey coming at you one more time. Part four of multi out VSTs. This time we're gonna use Philharmonic. All right. Uh, pretty much the same as the other ones. Make sure that you you know your input port, everything is matching up here, and you change the channels to control different instruments. You see. I know Philharmonic is almost exactly the same as um, Sample Tank. Processing, click Auto Map. All right, hit the gear again to get out of it. All right, as you see, the outs are right here. Okay, so you just hold it, left click on it, and scroll your mouse up. All right, that's it. Make sure Philharmonic is routed to uh, a mixer channel. We're going to move it down here. Let's say on 12. All right. And I'm also going to show you our trick for y'all hypersonic use what you can do. Okay. Um, anyways, here we go. Got everything routed. Got the outs differently. So let's make sure everything is on a different mixer channel. All right. My CPU looks crazy because I'm running this video as well. It's not the plug-in. I right, don't want. I want that crack. You know, it really don't matter. You shoot a video. We don't want. It. All right. Next instrument should be right here. instrument should be here on 14 right up. all right now for you hypersonic users if you've ever noticed that you know saying you might happen to be playing something um, and you have it routed out but you always see some level here all right this is how you get you get past that because you can actually mute that this is what you do instead of auto on um, mapping gear Change that one to one, two, three, four, and so forth. How many other instruments you use? And use up 16 on Philharmonic too. Anyways, all right. So instead of this first instrument playing here, let's go play here. All right. See, it's on 13 now instead of the main one. And for hypersonic users, anytime you play anything, any other instruments, you're going to see a little level in there. All you get to do is mute that now. And everything moves over. Alright, just a little tip for y'all. So y'all won't get that extra sound whenever you export everything out individually. Or when you split your mixer tracks when you export it. Alright. Alrighty. Catch y'all next time. Yep, yep. <laughs>